your reaction to obviously everything that happened on Friday? We all know how, how close you are with Brandon going back to the Chicago days, but just your reaction to everything that went down. Um, yeah, just understanding what he mean to me, but uh, yeah, just definitely disappointed. Um, definitely disappointed we can't get it done for him. Um, but we got a got a new week and got to get ready for the uh, got to get ready for the biz. You obviously you know spent the past couple of years with GIF. Just what what makes him the right guy for this, and, and just how excited are you for him to have this opportunity to lead you guys as the head coach, interim head coach? Yeah. Yeah, man, it's it's strange, strange business, but um, definitely, uh, definitely have to give uh, this understanding on um, the, the the type of leader he is, and understanding uh, the situation uh, and making the most of it, uh, doing all we can to win these win these next three forms. How much do you think I will rally around Gift? You say how much do you think? Yeah. I mean, it's it's natural, man. It's natural, man. Everybody like Gift, man. Uh, Everybody knows what, the type of man he is, uh, the type of leader he is. Uh, very honest, very blunt, uh, forthcoming, and so uh, it's, it's, it's definitely what you want uh, in this situation. Uh, not sugarcoat nothing. Um, we letting us know what it is and uh, what we got to get ready for. Well, do you, not to, I know you said it's a new week, but I mean, what did you think of Brandon while he was here as a leader, as a Check coach? Uh, what What was he like here? Did he be happy with what he did? I mean, you reflect on his time. Um, I mean, yeah, you can. I, I, I can only reflect on the past two years, um, just understanding uh, the type of man he is. I know the type of man he is, uh, first and foremost. Uh, but it, it's this business, man, it, it comes with a lot of expectation, uh, a lot of pressure. Um, and so, yeah, whenever the, the expectation or, or, or whenever things don't go accordingly, uh, ultimately, somebody has to take the fall for it, um, whether it's the players, whether it's the coaches, whether it's the staff. Um, and so, uh, you never want to be in these situations. And, uh, this is my third time being a part of something like this, and so uh, definitely unfortunate. But uh, we, we got to get ready for Buffalo. Man. Uh, still in the midst of the, uh, still in the midst of the grind, and so uh, can't reflect too much. Um, got to got to get ready for for uh, uh, the quality team coming in on, on Saturday. I mean, just one more. I mean, do you, do you, as one of the stars in this team, I mean, do you, like, feel responsibility when something Absolutely. like that happens? Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Um, that's why it's tough. Um, just understanding why he brought me here. Um, yeah, you, you feel like you let him down in a sense. Um, but uh, you can't reflect on it too much, man. You just got to get, got to get ready for the next game. Yeah. That guys will have any trouble getting motivated these last three weeks, or you know. that, that stands from what I talked about after the game, man. Um, all of that starts with between you and you, um, your why. Uh, it it got to be bigger than bigger than the game. Um, as a competitor, uh, you gotta you gotta have a natural knack for winning and want to win, uh, no matter the circumstances. And so. Uh, if that changes, um, I'm gonna let it be known that um, I don't want, I wouldn't want nobody that already gave up out on the field with me. Just uh, have you talked to Brandon at all? Have you guys exchanged no, man, messages it's, or anything it's like tough, that? Man, it's tough. It's tough. It's one of them things, man. I took, I took that very personal. Um, just understanding why he brought me here, man. Uh, he brought me here to to shift and change the culture here, and not being able to get that done um, while he was here. Is uh yeah I take that I take that as as me being in that position um, and so uh, yeah not to reflect too much on it man I, I'm not one of them guys that goes with the highs and the lows uh, to try to stay even keel um, because that's what need that's what's needed of, of me right now for sure um, being a, being one of the leaders on this team and so. Um, just got to get ready for Buffalo, man. I think it cool though. If you talk to guys in the locker room, they would say that you did shift the culture. So, like, do, so you you look at the results though and say, okay, yeah. I didn't. Or this do you? A, this is this is a result of business, man. Um, uh, this is no what you call it. It's no more victories and and certain things. Uh, and so everything that you do, uh, everybody wants results, man. I told you, it's a lot of pressure and a lot of expectations uh, in this business. Um, and, Having the talent that we have, um, that shit don't matter if you, it's not resulting in wins or 
the more victories or whatever the case may be. Um, and I get that uh, being year 10 for me. And so, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate. Um, I don't think any of us saw this this happening, you know, during the season of where we started and the expectations that we have for ourselves. So it sucks. Does it, is it does it feel any different when something like this happened? I mean, today is yeah, it, absolutely. Is the spirit different? It's, it's mood different. It's different from a sense that we know like there's been a change in the organization at our head, our head of our organization. Um, and so for us, it's it's important for us to make sure that hey, we keep together, stay together, right? Don't let anything right divide us, right? We still have a job to do, uh, but it's it's definitely a different feeling because of just the respect that we have for those two men, especially myself for for Tom, because Tom's you know the reason that I'm here. Um, he he opened up a spot for me on the 90-man roster when I was number three before you guys wanted to get an interview for me, and so um, a lot of respect for him. And then you know my back half of my career has been with Brandon, so you know mutual respect there as well. I mean, Austin, this is your second. This is your second time being a part of something like this, or at least a coach being gone, right? Uh, uh, not during the season, though. Under, oh, okay, yeah. Coach being gone. Do you, yeah. Do players at all? I mean, now or then, feel at, at any responsibility for when stuff like this happens, or like? Yeah, um, I think for this season anyway, you know, it feels like it's been a, a collective of not good things happening. You know, it hasn't. It's really hard to be like this is the reason why. You know, um, in my opinion, and so. This is a team game and it takes all of us to win and the product on the field hasn't been at a level where it needs to be for us to win and that involves coaching, involves playing, involves the culture of the team, involves so many more things, you know, us as individuals. And so, um, yeah, we are definitely in a position where we all had our hand in, in what's been happening. Sometimes when you have a major upheaval, you know, a coaching change, things go good and sometimes it goes sour the other way. How do you assess what's going to happen or how do you make sure? You know, for us, we can control what we control and that's making sure that we have good energy at practice and making sure that, like I said earlier, like we, we stay together, got to stay together because it's easy for people to start pointing the finger. Well, this is why this has happened. This is why they got fired. And it's like, it doesn't matter because we still have a job to do. We still have three games. So we got to make sure good energy at practice and GIF has, you know, been emphasizing that as well. And uh, us as captains, he's been putting pressure on us. Hey, making sure we keep the energy up. If you feel it drop, pick it back up, making sure we're all doing this for together. Because we have, three, like I said, three more games for all the guys in this locker room. People know him. Few people yeah. know him. But tell us uh, what, what, what you yeah, know about him. Yeah, he's been a guy that's been here since I've been here as well. Um, and so another guy that I have a ton of respect for, um, just as a, as a man to man, um, and has always been here to help me pick me up, open door policy with me. And we've had some good talks just about life, you know, at the, at the lunch table. Um, and so for, for him to come in and be in this leadership role, now I'm seeing that express where he, he's got some of the old school mentality where it's like, hey, everything is, you know, a tight shift um, and making sure that everything is, is on time and he, wa he wants everything, right, being a, it's, it's buttoned up, um, as my, my uh, old uh, weight room coach said, and jelly tight, you know, so making sure everything's good. So we're seeing that spill into the leadership and he's putting pressure on us, which, hey, we'll take it. How long of a weekend was it for you and kind of the team after a loss like that and then yeah, the firing? It's tough. And it's tough because obviously getting embarrassed on Thursday night football, that's never, never fun. Um, and then just understanding, you know, what happened after with, with the coaching change. And, you know, now people are hitting me up. What's happening? Hey, what's going on? And I'm like, y'all need to chill out. Like, I'm still trying to figure out, right? Go in and talk, came in and talked to, talk to our coaches. It's okay, well, what's, what's the plan going forward? You know, how are we going to, what's the mentality? What are you going to tell the team? What's the message? Um, so it's, it's been really eventful. It's been, it's been really honestly stressful too, just because there's so much from outside pressure, wanting to interviews and things like that. And then it's like, okay, like I still have a job to do. I got to make sure I'm focusing on me. And then me as a person too, it's like, Austin, you haven't had the best season ever as well. And so it's just a lot, right? We're getting tested is what I've, I've been saying. It's like, hey, this is, a season, this is a part in our life where, for myself, especially where, hey, things aren't going as planned, and hey, how are you going to be? Stay poised, right? Stay mentally strong, continue to push forward, and uh, look forward to hopefully overcoming this, you know, eventually. So it's been tough, yeah. When you say give us putting pressure on you guys, what do you mean by that? Just uh, asking for, you know. Just making sure your leaders are leading, you know? Like today at practice, he's like, hey, if you, if you ever feel us dipping in energy, you, you got to pick it back up for us, right? Right, and making sure we're getting guys going, making sure you're, you're saying something. Um, and so that's what I mean with pressure. So Buffalo, there have been games they looked incredible and games they've had some stinkers. So that's the team you got up next. Thoughts about 
That's Please. the NFL. That's the NFL. You know, we're trying to all get on a on a streak. You know, especially during the the end of the season, during this time where it's meaningful football going in the playoffs. And uh, you know, you try to be as consistent as you possibly can. But there's teams where you match up better against. There's teams where you maybe had a game plan that was a better fit for that team. And then there's the opposite where you get got sometimes. Um, and that's part of football. You try not to get got, but it happens. What's the feeling just the last three games? Because I mean, you guys are out of playoff contention, but. Not yet. <laughs> not, okay, out of, not yet. Not yet. Technically, not yet. Out of division contention. <laughs> okay. But, okay. There you go. But still, the next, the last three opponents. Yeah. Pretty yeah, much yeah. have their fate um, in their hands. Yeah, absolutely. And for us, you know, we have each other that we're playing for at this point. You know, it's it's not looking good for the playoffs. Absolutely, but there is still a chance. Um, and for us, we still have opportunities to go out there and make plays. We're still painting our resume for the rest of this league, coaches and players. And uh, we also have, you know, something that we're trying to write, which is the end of the season. Hey, we still have opportunities to go out and win games. Let's go put our best foot forward and see what happens. Is there any sense, in a weird way, like is there any sense of relief at all? Just this season, we know how the season's gone, but now you're kind of in that mode of. Just sort of playing. No, it I think now. there's the opposite for myself, where okay. it's like there's still <laughs> pressure, right, to continue to execute and play at a high level. Because um, now I even got people reaching out, you know, you know, coaches, people being like, I won't say names, but like, hey, like, what's going on with this? Like, what's going on with that? And like, wait, why are we using you in this way? So it's like, hey, look, I still have a job to do. I still have expe expectations that not only myself, this organization, other people are expecting from me. Um, and it's especially important, right? And there's different situations with guys, but like for me, I'm a free agent after this year. You know, and so like I'm still painting my resume of hey, who is Austin Eckler, and so all of these games matter. When you say uh, people reaching out, is that just like a coach from the team or like friends, like you know how yeah, you can mix a mixture of both. You know, people wondering hey, what's going on? Why has the season been the way it has been? And so it's it's me, you know, making sure that I put the keep the pressure on myself, and there's no like relief, relax, like oh no, it's all good. You know, I don't point the finger, right? Like hey, what could I have done to help? Whether maybe it was in leadership, whether it was in you know talking to Kellen about you know scheme, whether it was me playing, so. Just always keep the pressure on myself. So, so you know, you've seen these last three games is kind of like another, you know, proof to yourself, proof to the Chargers, proof to the, the market that you know you still have it. Uh, yeah, and mainly proof to myself because um, that's that's what ultimately comes down to the decision. Like, hey, are you gonna keep playing or? Do I think I still can? Do I want to? Am I still invested in this? So it's proven to myself that I still can play at a high level. Has that, has that crossed your mind throughout the season? Has it been tough for you? Have you ever wondered? Yeah, it's like been tough, but not necessarily to the point where I'm like, ah, I don't want to be done playing. Like I'm still invested in this team, right? I have I've committed to this team for this this contract, um, and so after this year, it's a little bit different because now I'm not I'm not under contract anymore. So now it's like, okay, what's the situation that's popping up? Is that something that I want to put myself into or not? I guess I meant like questioning if, if you're still the, the player that, that we all know you like have seen before. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean for me that's it's something that you know you have to prove. You have to prove to you guys, right? Me, I know I still am that player. You know, I know I still, you know, I go through my training, I still, you know, hit my numbers. I'm still putting the same, you know, numbers up in the in the weight room. So I know I'm the same player, but that doesn't matter when it comes to right the contracts, when it comes to the media, when it comes to betting, when it comes to all these people and that are affected by me. Um, it's making sure I prove it to you guys that okay, yeah, Austin still has what it takes. And so I know I do, but then there's two sides of the coin, right? There were a lot of angry players after the game Thursday, yeah. and deservedly so. But was there a feeling on that flight or getting when you guys got back here that Friday morning what happened did? Yeah, we had Friday we had Friday off, so it was good it was good timing for that, something like that to happen because we got some time to cool off. Um, we didn't get back in the building until Monday, so it really was a good cooling off period after what happened. Do you? Do you? It almost sounds like you're thinking about maybe not playing next year. Am I misreading that? Not necessarily not playing, just making sure that I'm playing in a, in a favorable position. Do you think that you're, you're in your last three games with this organization? I have no idea what's going on with this organization. They don't have it. We don't have a right. We have an interim GM, right? And so the GM that brought me in is no longer here. So I have no idea. But right now. It's kind of like this is like a, a new team almost, so to speak, right, yeah. when it comes to next year with the GM because there might be someone who likes a guy like me and they need a guy like me on their team for what they're trying to do. They might be someone that, like, nah, we don't want Austin anymore, you know. So it's, like I said, it's like a new team. It's like going to a different team in their situation. But you're, you not, feel you're not sitting here thinking that I might not play. This might be my last year. Just I'm thinking I'm going to be really selective of where I play, okay. yeah. Do you, do you think you were used in a favorable position throughout the season? throughout the season? I think it's been tough. It's really been tough because I know we, we came in with, with the mindset of right throwing the ball down the field, Keenan, Mike, Quentin, right, Josh Palmer, and then obviously injuries started happening. And um, so it's been like, okay, 
as many check downs as they've been used to catching, right? It hasn't been there because of the philosophies. Um, and so, you know, there's there's a whole bunch of other things too that play into it. You know, we lost Corey as well. Um, and so some things have, have factored in and then maybe me not playing as well, maybe not hitting the right cut. So it's not just one thing as far as like what has happened for this year, but it's, it's an accumulation of, of things that have kind of put ourselves in a position where we haven't been playing at the highest level. And so I don't want to get into all of it because it's, it's not the right conversation to have um, with y'all, but yeah. Has there been a point where the ankles felt more 100% because, I mean, you did miss four games, but yeah. ankle injuries like that. I know. I know. With skill positions and cornerbacks no. and stuff. Every morning, I, I I have to walk down my stairs sideways because my ankles hurt so bad. But that's that's been something that I've been dealing with for for years now, and it's just part of being the running back and just the stress that goes on my ankles. So obviously, having two ankle sprains doesn't help. Where are you at, the team? I mean, one of the leaders of this defense. Coach gets fired. GM gets fired. I guess, where are you at right now? Um, I feel like I'm in a good space. We came out here, got a lot of work done today, and um, we got a. A tough game coming up this Saturday against Buffalo, so we're just doing everything we can, getting ourselves prepared to go play. Did you talk to Brandon or, or Tom since? Yeah, yeah, I talked to uh, Brandon. Um, I told him um, thank you for everything, appreciate everything you've done. Um, I reached out to him. Surprised or sad, or do you have any emo have time to think about how you were feeling when, when you got the news? Uh, definitely was sad because when you're going through someone, some, going through something uh, with somebody for three years, you know, it's tough. You know, you always think about the good times y'all had. You know, we always want to get it right. Well, we didn't get it right the time we was here. So, you know, it was the decision that the, the organization made. And um, like I said, that's where we're at now. What was Jeff's message to, to you guys when you first meeting or whatever it was? Did you... um, that we're going to stick together, control what we control. And as a team, I feel like um, everyone um, knows whose gifts is. We all look to him as a leader. And um, like I said, he's, he's going to do a great job. There's been speculation about Brandon for a long, long time, long time. Uh, what's it like to be a player in, in a situation like that where you, you know, the coach and all the talk, you don't know what's going to happen? Oh, I can't hear you. The last part, sorry. Well, you know, you had to deal with that for a long yeah. time. What's it like to be a player on a team where the coach is constantly being, you know, his future is being discussed? Um, like I said, we try to control what we control as players, and that's always our job. And me, I always try to look in the lens of, man, what can I do to get better? You know, you always hear it, of course, we're not robotic to the situation, but I always try to stay in my lane, make control what I control, and like make plays for my team. As a defensive player and one who's known Giff for a while, what what would you say? What type of coaching guy is he? Uh, he's a dependable guy, and um, he's a straightforward guy, straight, honest guy. And um, like I say, um, he's a guy that we all we know very well, especially guys like Keenan and both of some of the guys that's been here. And um, he's a great leader. Derwin, just this weekend, you guys faced Josh Allen, just. He's a dual threat kind of quarterback. Uh, mm -hmm. What makes him tough to go up against? Uh, like you said, he's dual threat. Uh, he can run it. Um, one of the best running quarterbacks in this league. And um, also he can throw it out wide to his receivers, digs and cooks in space. So we got to be ready um, in that aspect. Your former teammate, Dalvin Cook's little brother, James Cook. Yeah. Is, what have you seen from him on film? Uh, he's a baller. He's been balling all year. Um, always, been, always knew who he was growing up. Dalvin used to bring him around to the facility a lot. Um, but like he's a ball of hard work and um, he having a great season. What type of challenge is it going against Diggs? Um, he's kind of like Keenan, um, he's a multi-cut guy, um, always giving you different looks, move him around outside, inside. So he's a guy that present. I, I kind of see him as a Keenan type of guy. From your preparation so far, what what is going to change about the defense, if anything, now that DA is calling plays? Um, I don't know how much is going to change. I feel like we're going to be who we are. But like I said, we're just coming out and we're just trying to. Get the, get the right group of guys out there to go compete at a high level. How do you think the team will react Saturday to all that's going on and performing? You know, have you, have I feel like we're going to respond well. I feel like we're going to come out and compete, and um, I, f I feel like we have no other choice but to do that.